Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh in the name of Allah most gracious most merciful welcome everybody in this class welcome every student the class today for the first secondary stage subject is our interesting language and subject is English language semester is the second lesson for be only time will till in traveler two for be only time will till prepared by Amina Madhali presented by me Osama Lawaj welcome again and here we go we have several objectives of the lesson we have three goals first of all here read about the past predictions of the future and practice expressions with make and make predictions with will and use will have to and will be able to so inshallah we will cover all these three goals in our lesson today question for you as you see here we have here four pictures the question is what do you know about the following what do you know do you have any information about that what about IPM what about the Wright brothers what about the rockets what about the TV so uh, did you did you read about that did you listen from radio from any channel about this uh, topic okay so and next inshallah we have uh, a lot of paragraphs it's related with these pictures read the text quickly and choose the most suitable introduction for it a b or c so when we finish inshallah from the paragraphs we will choose a b or c we will choose later now we will start reading the paragraphs and after that we we come back to the introduce or introduction a Read the text quickly and choose the most suitable introduction for A, B, C. Man will not fly for 50 years. Will be right in his brother Oliver Orville in 1901. In 1901, the Wright brothers tried out their flying machine for the first time, but we were very disappointed when they didn't succeed. However, Two years later, in 1903, they talked to the skies and entered the history books. And only 18 years after, Wolper made his prediction. Captain John Alcock and, Lomf and Lieutenant Arthur Whiting. <coughs> yes, uh, which Brown made the first non-stop transatlantic flight from a newfoundland canada to ireland i think there is a world market for about five computers now we will uh, move to another topic it's about computers thomas j walston chairman of the board of ipm in 1943 this prediction seems ridiculous today but it was true for 10 years after Walton did it even so today there there are about 1 billion computers in use and the world in the world experts predict there will be 2 billion by 
What about television or TV? Television won't last because people people will soon get tired of starting at a Hollywood box every night. Jerry Zanuck. Zanuck definitely got it wrong about television. The total number of TV sets in the world is over 1.5 billion. In the USA, where the TV plays a major role in everyday life, there are over 2,000 TV channels on the average. A TV set is on for 6 hours and 47 minutes every day. We will move to the, the, the next topic. It's about rocket. A rocket will never be able to leave the Earth's atmosphere. New York Times. At that time, it was hard to imagine that sending a rocket into space would be would be possible. However, some years later, the first unmanned and mended rocket lift in the Earth's atmosphere. Not only that, but in the six years it was possible to send humans to space. Most people know Yuri uh, Gargian, Gargian, the first human in out in outer space. In 1961, and Neil Armstrong. The first man on the moon, 1969. Here, we have three introduction. We choose this one because it's the correct. With the world changing so quickly, it's very difficult to make predictions about the future. Some people get it right. Other get it wrong. Some people, however, add a long way off. Here are a few examples. So this is the introduction for the previous paragraph about rockets, about TV, and about uh, the world's IPM. Okay, let's move to next one for C. Read again and write T. For true or F or false, you have to write T or F. It depends on the sentence and depends the previous paragraph. Right, brother, flow a plane for the first time in 1901. Is it right or no? The first non, the first non-stop transatlantic. Okay, transatlantic here. Light was in 1918. Uh, Is it right or no? In 1950, the world mark didn't have need for computers. Is it right or no? About 2 billion people use computers today. Zanuck predicted that people would not like watching TV. Number 6. In the USA, people have their TV sets on for about seven hours a day. The last one is Yuri Gagarin was on the first rock ever to leave the Earth's atmosphere. So the the first, second F, and the third is true. The fourth is Balls. The fifth here through the second or sixth here we have true and the last one is F. Just the three true. Yes, in your in your book you have some highlighted words in the text and match them with the meaning a to F. So in your book you have 
uh, disappointed you have also succeed you have ridiculous you have predict last major what is their meaning okay or the, the synonym maybe or the definition sometime okay so this is the answer for all uh, disappointed goes directly with unhappy because something didn't happen this is uh, number one number two is succeed go directly with not fall not fail ridiculous number three go directly with if very silly predict here goes directly with uh, d say that something will happen in the future last here meaning the meanings of last and c continue to exist and major the last one goes with very large or potent so this is the meaning of these highlighted words here expressions we have some expression with make okay so we have here make mistakes make a decision make plans make sure make money make predictions make a phone call so you can use all this expression with make now we will transfer this expression to the next exercise we have seven uh, sentences you have to fill all these spaces by using expression with make first of all ed number one ed never knows that he know he wants he just can't about anything so make what number two i have already space for the weekend i'm going to visit my parents and pet three i need to something make what to sammy before we leave space you close the window before you leave the office number five it's not easy to space about the weather make what number six uh, robert space when he speaks italian harry thinks he can space without so we can use make or oh, expression with make the first one is make decision about anything here we, we sometimes use make and made so the the past the past form of make is made and the past participle also made so we have make made made so here we use it as a third form past participle i have already made plans i need to make a phone call to sammy before you leave make sure you close the window make sure you close the door for example also it's not easy to make prediction about the weather sometimes uh, the weather is changeable so you can't predict what is uh, the weather is it cold or hot or what the sixth robert makes mistakes when he speaks italian because he learned uh, he, he learned italian uh, language so he's not native speaker so he make or he makes uh, some mistakes the last one is harry thinks the car okay or he can he can make money without working harry thinks he can make money without working so this activity focus on expression with uh, make here we go to section number three it's about grammar well for a prediction we sometimes use will 
for predict uh, prediction you predict what will be happen in uh, future so here man will not fly for 50 years so this kind of prediction television won't last because people will soon get tired of it so also this is kind of prediction Okay, you have my student focus on this one will have to and will be able to will have to will be able to okay first of all we will read the sentences and after that we will go to uh, explanation Trevor finished the assignment so he will be able to go out tonight. Will be able to go out. Will be able to go out. The second one, George gave me some money, but I will have to pay him back by Monday. So, my student, this is very important here, will have to, what's the meaning of that? If you'd like to, express his obligation obligation in the future will have to okay will have to pay him back this kind of uh, obligation in the future will or we will have to train hard to take part in the race we will move to will be able to express his ability able to the same meaning of can in the future when I go to Spain I'll be able to practice my Spanish this kind of ability so the same meaning of can but with the future we use able to okay complete the dialogues with will want this is a short form of will not will have to, will be able to, or will, won't be able to. Oh, no, the left isn't working, we space use it. Then we space, take the star, the stairs. With all these heavy bags, I space do it. Yeah. You space, I live on the second floor right then. So this is the answer for this one. We weren't able to use it. Then we will have to take the stair. You have to kind of obligation. With all these heavy bags, I won't be able to their kind of ability. So uh, there's a kind of like can't. I can't. Yes, you will. I I I I I I live on the second uh, floor. This is the first uh, dial. What about the second one here? The second one is, what do you think about flying cars? Well, there won't be any, okay, be any in our lifetime. That for sure. Why not? I don't think scientists won't be able to create them soon anyway they will be too dangerous you think so yeah people will drive them and there will be accident all the time maybe you are right so sometime we use this is the short form of will not want will not want or want be able to will not be able to hear well and will this uh, last one is well also so my student this is a summary for our lesson today for the only time will tell and traveler to read about past predictions of the future practice expressions with make and make uh, predictions with will 
and use will have to and use also will be able uh, to here we have uh, some uh, references in traveler to students book also in traveler to workbook in traveler to teachers guide and the last thing is google clip arts for 